How are you fans? America's favorite agent, AJ Pan. Here I'm here with one of my all-time favorites I've been waiting to meet for a long time, the lovely Amber O'Neill. Amber, how are you today? I'm fabulous, and I just want to say you're one of my favorites because FWE has been a company that I have been dying to come work for. It's like the five-star most elite lineup in independent wrestling today, so thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, we'd hopefully love to get you on. Uh, boss man, uh, we'll talk about this later. <laughs> Uh, so we're here at the Wrestling Spectacular today, uh, the wonderful Divas, uh, uh, yeah, one of a kind, a Divas convention, knockout slash lovely women. Uh, what are your thoughts on being uh, at this convention and a part of the North, uh, back in the Northeast? Well, I do think that when I saw this online and then I was invited by VOC Nation because I'm one of their co-hosts on the show every Wednesday, 5 to 7, VOC Nation, vocnation.com. Um, they asked me to come be at their table and uh, I bought Amanda Rodriguez, my trainee and um, someone I'm super proud of, future star, keep your eye out. And um, the lineup blew me away and I was super flattered to come. And then there's a show tonight, but the turnout hasn't been so well. But however, I've had a blast. I am a walking party, as everyone knows. And um, I couldn't be happier to be here. It could be five people here and I'd still be having a good time. Now this also events, uh, supports breast cancer awareness. This is very important to me and I tell you why and I'm not trying to get sentimental or sad or ruin anyone's day, but breast cancer does run in my family. I lost um, one of my grandmothers to breast cancer. I have an aunt who's struggling currently and um, this is a very serious matter for me so for that was another icing on the cake where I was like I'm there and um, you know I'm actually not being sponsored by anyone I actually came on my own dime just because this was so important to me so breast cancer awareness is a big thing and I think anything we can do to draw war more awareness to it is a good day I agree I agree uh, now you follow your uh, you have the arena chicks you are a big part of I am CEO of arena chicks we've only we you know we put out one DVD and um, basically I am not one of these companies that needs to put out, you know, there's a lot of women's wrestling companies out there and every month it's a DVD, every month it's a pay-per-view. Um, I try to be a little bit smarter. I don't have a gigantic bank account, you know, but I do invest um, in one Arena Chicks match a month on the CWF pay-per-view. So I make sure I have the best of the best. The latest stuff we did was Jazz versus Rosita. Me and myself, uh, me and myself, myself and Santana Garrett, wow tag team champions wrestled against um, Sue Young and um, Amanda Rodriguez and we also had myself versus Serena Deeb we had myself versus Angela Love so you know we when we do put on an event or a match I put a lot of thought into it and make sure that it's five-star talent now, how is it being part of the new the uh, WoW reboot I was a fan of the first season and this new season, they look stepped up. They have you as the tag team champions with the lovely Miss Santana Garrett. Let me tell you, I was a fan of the first one, but when this one actually airs, the wrestling community needs to get ready because let me tell you something, there was so much money put into this. The set alone was like thirty to fifty thousand dollars. The lights, they put Dave McLean has a very clear vision of what he wants. And um, I wasn't so quick to sign on with this company, but after sitting down in multiple meetings with him and Leilani Kai, like I had no doubt in my mind that this is what I want to do. This could be my second and last TV run. I had a short one with TNA when they were in their beginning years, and I'm very grateful for that. It gave me the recognition that I think allows me to still do this at my age. But um, being part of WOW is a blessing. And when it airs, I think the world's going to be blown away. Me and Santana and Barbie Hayden and Jesse Bell were the only four legitimate um, wrestlers on the show. The rest of the girls were stunt doubles, but we were treated with the utmost respect. And I really was worried watching everything like being put together and whatnot. But the one thing I do know is um, at the end of the day, a real wrestling product came out of this. And it's one that I think everyone's going to be impressed with. So everyone keep your eye out. WOWE.com. Me and Santana are the current tag team champions. We took the tag team belts from Cage Heat, who I was a fan of. They were. Yeah, they were a different team. They were very interesting. And they're amazing. Let me tell you what. Uh, Delta is Queen Latifah and Monique's stunt double. Just throwing that out there. These are some really amazing women that we 
we had the opportunity to work, that, work with, they were grateful for us bringing our wrestling knowledge and we were grateful to, for them for being so welcoming and for bringing us into their stunt world. And um, I think one of my next things I want to try to tackle is a stunt double world. And um, Delta has opened that door for me and um, we'll see what happens. I think it excel at that. Now is, is Lana Star still a part of WoW? Lana Star is part of WoW, and I'd it just... I'd like to see you two tangle it up. You know, it's funny you said that. There's, um... Me and Lana Star might have a little, um... Surprise for you guys in Season 2. Okay, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so I think you're gonna dig it. Anything else you'd like to, before we let you go, anything else you'd like to plug? Your well, Twitter. besides coming to make my debut at FWE Wrestling, the number one independent wrestling Federation in the Northeast, if not the world. Um, also, everyone should just follow me on Twitter because Amberland is a wonderful place to be. Um, I have a, a reality show on YouTube called Adventures in Amberland. Me and my current and forever boyfriend, Luke Gallos, are creating a show as well. Me and Amanda are creating a show. So YouTube, I think, is the best creation for independent wrestling or for people in general, oh, yeah. just to get whatever your talent or your craft is out there. So I say go to ambronil.net every day, every day, and see what's up in Amberland because it's quite the exciting place to be. Thank you, Amber. A pleasure finally meeting you and hope to see you in an FWE, FWE ring soon. You stay sexy and keep rocking this jacket. I'm going to try. I'm going to try.